Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, another lockdown news roundup of sorts. So if we look at the news headlines today, or more specifically, the newspaper headlines, you will see that now the complete blanketing of Afghanistan in the headlines, in the newspapers, and the Taliban takeover, all of that has now gone. It's all gone. Just forget about all of that now. We now want to focus everyone on this And as predicted, they have gone straight back into doom and gloom. Oh no, October is going to be bad. There will be lockdowns. Cases are going up, etc, etc. Okay, now this is foreshadowing. The newspapers and the main TV news stations seem to pretty much do this prediction reporting. This mystic Meg reporting most of the time now you noticed how very little of these headlines are actually telling you about what is going on in the world today or yesterday it's all about the future it's all about what may or may not happen in the future it's programming those who are not aware of the psychological game afoot this well it's what i call foreshadowing this telling you what they are going to do before they do it. Like I said, it has many motives. Of course, it's conditioning you, it's priming you. There is always that part. It's part psychological warfare, it's part black magic, okay? What it isn't is it's certainly not the news. It's certainly not a report of something that factually happened yesterday somewhere. That's supposed to be the news. It's not that. These are newspapers pretending to be Oracles, doomsayers, crystal ball gazers, prophesizers, fortune tellers. It's all hocus pocus, predicting of the future. That's what it is. Look at these headlines. Plan for the worst. Coronavirus, the future. It's not the news. Mystic Meg crap. Surprise, it's back to panic stations. He won't rule out new lockdowns. It's not the news. That's Mystic Meg crap. And this one particularly, PM's plan B to stop new lockdown. They haven't announced a lockdown and they're already talking about what to do when it starts. It's amazing. Hey, Afghanistan, Taliban, all of that news panic, all gone now. It served its function, didn't it? To get them to bring 10,000 over to the UK, 10,000 that have been trained by the UK military. That can now be done without any outcry from the public. Again, it's all about managing the public's perception, but also it's to get the general public to fixate on the narrative they intend to manipulate them with. It's a control technique. It's a hypnotic technique. It's a spell. Sometimes this is done with symbols. Sometimes this is done cryptically as if they are giving away snippets of a plot line that is secret. It's like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. And some have said it is also done so that they avoid bad karma. They believe that if they make you aware of what they are going to do before they do it, and then you still choose to go along with it, they feel that they avoid any bad karma from doing you wrong because they let you know beforehand. Okay, so yeah, you may say, oh, Hugo, you're talking a load of shite here. But here is the Lucis Trust, the spiritual foundation of the United Nations, the most powerful intergovernmental organization in the world. The Lucis Trust, formerly known as Lucifer Publishing, who maintain the meditation room in the United Nations building, the meditation room, which is dedicated to the God of many names. Mm, I wonder who that can be. Anyhow, this is the Lucis Trust on karma our karmic liabilities, where they state basically, if your actions, which may do harm, are made aware to the subject, then you can avoid any kickback of bad karma. You can avoid the cause and effect. This is what they believe. So if that's the case, is this one of the reasons why we see so much of these forewarning articles? I mean, even this one, it lays out free plans, like free versions of future plans, free estimations. This is not news. Look, it's, oh, councils, keep powers to impose lockdowns, face masks, booster shots, jabs for kids, flu jabs, 
lockdowns. And what's it there? Plan B, vaccine passports for nightclubs, football and concerts. The very thing they said a few days ago they were cancelling. And here it is in Plan B. They're talking about it coming back. These articles, these, these stories, these headlines are a complete waste of time. They are all estimations, all foreshadowing, all about toying with the public's minds. There is a lot going on here, but the main thing to take away is that these people want to be the writers of your story. They are, the, they are trying to write chapters in advance, pre-programming the gullible. Like I've said, history is not his story, it's your story. Don't allow these people to write your story or to prime and dictate the next chapter before it happens. The people have the power. And one of the strongest powers that they have is to simply ignore these story writers, ignore them completely. Unfortunately, the majority of the public don't ignore. I don't personally read these newspapers. And when I talk about the headlines, it's to highlight what the strategy is behind them. Why are they appearing at a certain time? What is the actual real aim behind them? Because it's all propaganda now. You know, I mean, what are they trying to distract you with, etc, etc. But their power and control over people only exists if the majority give them attention. And you've got to hope now that the majority of the public, they, they must be getting sick of these games by now. I mean, it's getting a little bit repetitive, is it not? I mean, surely, surely they can start to see a pattern forming here. But look, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the Mystic Meg headlines, which are not news. They are something else entirely. Oh, and I'll have a video out later, which won't be on YouTube. So look out for that at hugotalks.com later on. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the herd.